फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अभिव्यक्ति इंडिया फ्यूचर क्लासरूम इन टूडेज एपिसोड ऑफ क्वान्टिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड वी विल सी हाउ टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम ऑन टाइम एंड वर्क वेलकम टू एक्सेल इन पी ओ एग्जामिनेशन फ्रेंड्स वन ऑफ द व्यूअर्स ऑफ दिस चैनल आस्क मी दैट वेन वी यूज एफिशियंसी परसेंटेज मेथड वी ऑलवेज कम अक्रॉस द कैलकुलेशन एज हंड्रेड बाय सेवन 100 by 12, 100 by 16, etc. Is there any method to remember these numbers or to skip this? Friends, in unitary method, the LCM part becomes cumbersome, and in percentage efficiency method, the calculations such as 100 by 12, 100 by 14, or 100 by 16 that becomes cumbersome. Friends, but calculation of 100 by 12 100 by 14 and 100 by 16 etc is not so com- cumbersome compared to the lcm part see what i do to cope up with this problem here is a table which shows that the a finishes a work in one day that is 100% work if a takes 2 days to finish the work and the work is 100% it means in one day a finishes the work of 50% that is 100 by 2 that is 50% this is not so problematic if a finishes the work in 3 days it means in one day he finishes 100 by 3 work that is 33.33% if he finishes a work in 4 days then in one day he will finish 100 by 4% that is 25% if a finishes a work in 5 days then in one day he will finish 100 by 5% that is 20% of the work now here it is a finishes the work in 6 days so in one day he will finish 100 by 6 and 100 by 6 means 100 by 3 into 2 it means what half of 100 by 3 so it will be 16.66 half of 33.33 then 100 by 7 that will be 14.28 then 100 by 8 that can be written as 100 by 4 into 1 half so half of what 100 by 4 so what is 100 by 4 it is 25 that you know so its half will be what 12.50 now 100 by 9 that is 100 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 3 so it will be a one third of 100 by 3 and 100 by 3 is what 33.33 so its half will be 11.11 and now you can understand how you can solve the further one so just remember 100 by 3 as 33.33 and take its half one third or whatever may be according to the problem here is the another question a takes 16 days to finish a job alone while b takes 8 days to finish the same job what is the ratio of their efficiency and who is less efficient now a takes 16 days and b takes 8 days this clearly shows that a is less efficient than b so he is taking more time now the ratio of time taken by both of them time ratio that is equal to 16 is to 8 that is 2 is to 1 16 is 
since the time ratio is 2 is to 1 the efficiency ratio will be what it will be 1 is to 2 because both are inversely proportional to each other and since the efficiency ratio is 1 is to 2 B is more efficient and A is less efficient Next question is, A is twice as good a workman as B and is therefore able to finish a piece of work in 30 days less than B. In how many days they can complete the whole work working together? Now the efficiency ratio of A and B is what it is 2 is to 1. And therefore, the time ratio time ratio that will be 1 is to 2. Now, suppose A finishes the work in X days and B finishes the work in 2 X days. Since the ratio is 1 is to 2, then by the condition 2x minus 1 that is equal to 30 and therefore x will be equal to 30 so a finishes the work in 30 days and therefore b will finish the work in 60 days if you don't want to do this part you can simply do it like this 2 minus 1 is equal to 30 it means 1 tends to 30 so this is A's work and since 1 tends to 30 2 tends to 60 and so it is B's work here is the another question a tub can be filled in 20 minutes but there is a leakage in it which can empty the full tub in 60 minutes. In how many minutes it can be filled? Here, this is a question of negative work. Filling efficiency is what? it is 20 by 100 by 20 that is equal to 5 percent and due to leakage it is emptied the full tub in 60 minutes so emptying ratio efficiency is what it is 100 by 60 and that will be equal to 1.66 percent therefore the net efficiency that will be equal to 5 minus 1.66 and that will be equal to 3.33%. So the net efficiency of filling the tub is 3.33%. And therefore the required time to fill the tub will be 100 divided by 3.33. And that is equal to 30 minutes. Friends, here are few suggestions. Just click on the links and watch the videos. Allegations part 1, banking and other abbreviations, mixed bag number 3, current affairs, MCQ part 2, alphabet series from test of reasoning and simple interest part 3. I hope you might have enjoyed this video. If yes, 
like the video share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel because you will get updates right into your mailbox and finally for details visit us at excelinpoexam.in thank you very much friends you might have enjoyed this video then go to thumbs up button and click then go to share tab and share with your friends on facebook twitter google plus and many more and to get the updates right in your mailbox don't forget to subscribe thank you very much